Trinidad and Tobago. How are you all doing tonight? <laughs> yes, I am here. I'm live for another session of um, our little talks concerning crime. Artists Against Crime, we're here. We're live. Yes, I, I have started it all. And I'm, oh, hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Um, hey, Avinash. Hi, uh, Diana. Hi, everybody who's locked on. What's up? What's up? No, I have something that um, was brought to my attention this morning. Uh, actually, this morning and uh, later on this afternoon. It's concerning the security officer who um, was actually held after shooting the, um, the Mr. Atom, I believe, was Passad's. Uh, yeah, well, to be honest with you guys, what I think about that situation, because a lot of people ask me what I think about the situation. In my opinion, judging from the video, now I'm not any police officer, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a judge or anything like that, but I'm being honest with you. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, bees. What's up? Hey, cuz. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> hey, everybody. My God, it's so nice to see so many of you locked on. Yes, so our talk now is concerning the security officer. Now, my opinion on this is that this officer, the security, for a matter of fact, to me, the man was doing his job, right? Because it was said that um, this, the victim who was shot, was um, actually banned from the premises of the supermarket, right? Now, in my opinion, if someone was banned from a premises, and judging from the video, the man was forcibly trying to enter onto the premises, right? The security took it upon his hand, doing his job, as far as I'm concerned, to protect his business place, well, his workplace. And to me, I, yes, we know the person died, but look at the situation behind it. If this person went and robbed these people again over and over, this man keep so being set free it was either he not being captured at all. So because the security took it upon his hand and decided, well, you know what? Let me do my job and let this man know he time and he going and be out of here because I'm being paid to protect these people here and to do what I'm supposed to do, keep away any predators, any thieves, robbers, murderers, whatever the case I was just doing his job. I don't know opinion based on it, but this is what I think the man was doing. He was simply doing his job. Now look at it, right? We law-abiding citizens. Why are we the first ones to be arrested while we defend ourselves? Why? This is a question that we, we keep asking and we get no answers for. Yes, Anissa. Yeah, well, somebody had to talk eh, because I realize people are afraid to open them out in this country and I have a voice and I will to use it. God give me a voice for a reason. I'm not afraid to use it. I'm here to stand up and I'm here to help. Uh... <laughs> yes, it be. That's no problem. No, I am not a professional when it comes to these things there, eh, but um, I'm using my common sense and, and by reading and understanding what is going on daily. I see it in movies too. I'm a real Indian fanatic when it comes to my Indian movies and I see it over and over where criminals always being let loose and you know who getting, getting captured and who had to pay the price of the crime being done? We, the innocent people, over and over. Why? Because our big man could be off a man. But we know we can't do that. No, because you know why we pay in tax and at the end of the day tax drain and we pocket so we can't pay off to give ourselves out of these trippiness, right? <laughs> plain talk, plain talk bad manners. But anyhow, as I was saying, we the innocent citizens are the ones who are arrested, are captured, are being taken advantage of. And what we do stand for ourselves, we are the bad ones. Why? Now they're telling us women out there to choose women men wisely, to protect ourselves, take extreme measures. <laughs> Karen, boy, I know you, you, you have some good points in true, right? No lie, no lie. <laughs> Hi, Shivani. Thank you, Han. Hi, Kabil. What's up? <laughs> so, uh, yes, as I was saying, now, they're telling us, um, here, all the boy, money talks in serious. As I was saying, they're telling us women to protect ourselves. Now, between myself and all of you out there, let's be honest. 
If a woman do take a stand, right? A man come behind you, attack you. You have a knife in your hand, you have a taser, you have a gun. You shoot his ass, you stab him, or you do something or the other. Who when I get blamed for this crime at the end of the day? Nobody asking you. Wait, is this man do you? You know, you know, first you know, tell you kill the man, so you have to go to jail for it. What the f? Like seriously, why? Why is the law so messed up? If it is, you could catch me. I run in. A man try to attack me. A man try to attack my friend. I decide, well, hey, I go and take a stand. I go and shoot him. Why well, go in and take a stand to, to do something? Just to damage this man, injure him in some way. Why does I am the one who the police run into what? Why does I am the one the law is looking at? When at the end of the day, nobody asks me what was the situation. Hi, Keith. What's up? Big up Canada. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, nobody gonna ask me what does happen. All they know is that I kill a man, I shoot a man, and I go in and jail fit because of the fact that I break the law by doing that. Why are they so messed up? That is why that is why things out of hand in this country because the innocent ones are the ones who are being taken for granted. They are the ones who literally being taken for fools. And you know what is sad thing too? Many of you see so many things going on out there and you know what? I literally say shut up. All they choose to shut up. Be all your neighbors keepers, be all your brothers keepers, all your sisters keepers. All they need to help put a stop to this thing too. And it can't happen with just one person or one police officer trying to do a million man work. No, all of us have to stand together and do this as a people. Another thing too, um, I notice um uh the media, yeah, the media have a tendency to to keep bringing up um the same old talk about what UNC do and what UNC are doing and all these kind of bulkaka. I will put it in plain English, bulkaka, right? The media hides everything that this 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 this, this government, this these people, these criminals, they they the media literally hides everything. Why? Why? And when you when you hear we the public speak out on it, you know, first thing they look to tell we is that we are not um abiding by their rules. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gosan, we live in a really mad cracked up world and trust me, it have more mad people outside than inside. Sentence don't have room for these people. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because they're running really, really rampant out there. It's 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 a mad world we live in. Whether we like to accept it or not, it is. Now, I saw that um, another young lady has gone missing. And um, to be honest with you all, I, I don't know what we could do again about this. Because unless the government doesn't take, unless they don't take blame for what is going on and they don't take a stand to help the citizens, then nothing is going to be done because... The government solely um they, they put they put a lot of praises upon themselves and which is not right. We need constitution Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Our our Lord no let me tell you the law in Trinidad. I was reading up last night. I was actually up last night reading up on some of the safest places in the world. And um sometimes I feel like I can go there <laughs> and live because you know what? They are not afraid to punish the criminals, and that is what that is what our government um they don't intend to do. They don't intend to punish the criminals. They rather to punish someone like you and I out there who are actually taking a stand for the right thing. Cause you know why the criminals working with big men out there who had the money and who could pay off this one and that one to get things done. Whereas a small man like you and I, we can't do that. You know, so we gonna take we lock up. We gonna take we gonna take whatever punishment we had to take. Because of the fact that we believe in abiding by the law and being respectful. Yeah, me say, boy, boy, I get started on that man, you know, that man, that man that's under my pressure. I don't know, now he that's under my pressure every damn day. <laughs> every time I look at the news. Hi, Richie. Yes, serious, important topic. I am not out for no... No fame thing through this this seriousness, you know. I am out for putting a stand and putting on my foot down because if um if somebody don't make a start at it, there will never be a start. So I decided to take a start and help to put crime try to at least put crime at a ease. Let us be the voices because 
to the tomorrow election call who had to who had to call the shots and who we have to represent us is we yeah colleagues and they all know good to do they only want to impress um this one because they know they impress rowley when they hear rowley coming government they get what they want and they they can say what they want is the damn truth that's what that's what they do they literally they literally fighting for money over and over <laughs> so but anyhow i have a topic i want to raise right somebody might vex with me saying because of the fact that um you know they're thinking that i've been real biased towards um a lot of these um artists in the mini country and i'm being biased you know i'm being bold face i'm being real let me tell all you I realize real hype up for CSM boy, real hype, yeah man. Real real hype. This one, that one studying, yeah, CSM man, yeah, we have five hundred thousand to go to win in the CSM thing. Well, Tom Dick Harry, Janice, Sharon, this one that one the next being murdered, being kidnapped and all these things and you know what? None of them. None of these artists and them who up for this competition. None of them even come out and say on Facebook, well, you know what, Trinidad and Tobago, we are the artists, we are the people who have a voice. We decide to take a stand and help people of Trinidad and Tobago, right? At least taking a stand and putting your foot down and showing that you're fed up of the crime situation will be nice, you know. It will be nice because people, let me tell you, you have a lot of people out there who who are looking for people to look up to, to help them, right? I was speaking to um, one of my friends who is, who is involved in helping me with this whole getting the message out there when it comes to crime. Uh, Jish Ramnanan, big up to you, boy. Young boy, youth coming up, doing really well. I'm really glad that he's willing to take a stand. And you know what I, t you know what I told Jish? We as the artists are not doing enough. We're not doing enough to help the people because of the fact that we keep wanting and wanting and wanting from the people and we are not willing to give back. Yeah, Mr. Gosain, I know that. I know that. Um, most likely they would blame um, Mr. Super Sad, you know. They wouldn't blame the current situation. So, I, I just say the truth, yeah? But yes, as I was saying, we as the artists need to need to give back to the community. So I was thinking, and this is something I am now letting everyone know, something that I had in mind, that why do some of us don't start to do voluntary work in our communities? Voluntary work meaning as to help get the youth out of the road. Yeah, bring them into, bring them into a lot of um, culture, bring them into arts, bring them into anything that can help them to learn a skill academically would it be in any way at all in any way at all i am willing to take that stand and be a volunteer to help and give back to these youths and when i say volunteer i mean volunteer i'm asking for no for no money at all all i want to do is is be able to help take the use of the road because from what i'm seeing here it have a lot of people a lot of parents have no time for their children they're too busy and when when you do speak to some parents it's like girl i had the money to do this i had the money to do that okay i understand you had the money to do it you're working every day you're coming home you're more tired than dog you have no time to sit down and talk to your kids you know what your kids doing your kids going on the internet your kids going on the internet and looking up on youtube they look into social media and you know what they're looking for not good things. I can tell you that much. Not good things. In society, let's face this fact. Every time I go through my Facebook timeline, I always see something with some naked woman, some naked man, some music video with some girl bam bam in somebody's face, and all this kind of craziness. And you know what? This is what your children are learning from. When you, as parents, don't take the time. Yes, Mr. Goldstein, we, we, yes, everybody, the 28th of February, look out, free admission, Carnival Tuesday, in front of Ramsing Plaza, 
Um, yes, it's um, Kuva Main Road, uh, and it is one of the biggest street fets in, in Trinidad. To the public, do not forget that. So I'll see you guys there, right? Yes, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there along with all these other best artists. Big up to you guys. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> your kids are not um, following the right examples because that big donkey man and woman on Facebook keep posting these these things over and over. It's either something about porn, it's something about some music video about rum, some music video about some woman bouncy, some music video about uh, yeah, just seeing everything showing as far as I'm concerned. This is all your this is all your children are seeing. And you know what? You don't have time because you know you're telling me to run, go in front of the TV, go and pick up your laptop, go and pick up your tablet, go and sit down and leave me alone. I'm too tired. And this is why the youth in the community is getting out of hand. Because you as the people in your homes do not want to take responsibility for your children. You quit to blame people, but you wouldn't study what you're allowing your kids to watch from what you're allowing them not to watch. You understand? Kids look up to many things. They look up to me, they look up to you, they look up to... They do. You know why? Because of the fact that they don't know better. And they're looking at us to try to teach them better. So whatever we do, they will follow. Whatever they see, they will follow. So why not try to take at least if it's a half hour, an hour of your time when you get home from work and your children get home from school? Why it is you all don't just take that time and take that, that opportunity to spend it with your kids. Read a book for them. Get children back involved in books. Get them off of this phone and tablet and all these kind of dotishness. You parents are using technology as an excuse to be lazy and lackadaisical for their children, you know. And that is real nonsense. Because that is where things are going wrong. Yeah, red check, boy. Hey, check, yeah, girl. Is it true? I've seen it happening all the time. Because right, parents now have no patience for children. Because you know why is children making children? Hi Shiva, what's up? Hey, thanks, I know that and I hope you feel better, dude. I know you're not feeling well. Try and drink some honey and some very warm tea and milk and stuff, okay? <laughs> so, yes, people. Um, so I want you all parents to start to get back involved with your, with your kids. A lot of you don't want to hear me yeah, because they say, oh, she don't know how hectic my life is and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know how hectic your damn life is. It's full of Facebook. That's how hectic it is. It's full of Facebook and social media. No, you all, you all need to get, get rid of these, these mentality of being lackadaisical towards your children. You all need to get off that. You all need to understand that Life is about being responsible. Life is about setting the right examples. Now, when you grow up your kids in this manner that you're teaching them, just put my child behind a TV and just put my child behind, behind a computer and they will learn from that. No, I grew up getting cut ass in them. I get bill now. I get that blah. I get bought spoon. I get everything. Right? I might not look so, but I get it all. Right? But you know what? It made me who I am today. That's why I could sit in front of this Facebook chat and be able to spread some word and knowledge. Because I learned it the hard way. I didn't learn it just so. I learned from my mistakes. And that's why I can talk now. And a lot of people don't like to hear the truth, you know. A lot of people don't like to hear the truth. And a lot of people wouldn't support me too because they feel that by me coming alive and doing these videos, it's giving me something in return. It's not giving me not one shit in return. You know what it's giving me? It's giving me blessings. And you know why that blessing is coming from you, the public, and God from above because he gave me this opportunity to be able to stand and take a step to put my foot down to represent what I think is right. And I think it's right that we need to stand up and take responsibility for our mistakes and for our life. And we can't, we can't just put our burdens upon God because of the fact that we choose to do these things that we are doing. You know, you got God, why, God, why are you doing my this? You know, God, no. no, you put yourself there. You put yourself there. God didn't put you there. You all need to stand up and start taking a little more responsibility for yourself and for your children. Start reading with your children. 
right? If it's five minutes, ten minutes, a half hour, hour for the most. Thank you, Alicia, Ali. Thanks so much. And yeah, I I um I did a video last night and I posted it. My my friend Jish did it for me. Amazing job, Jish and Maha Productions. Well done. Love you guys so much. And I posted this video and I noticed that. Yes, I got some shares, I got some likes and stuff. My video wasn't for shares and just likes, you know. My video was to send a message to you, the public, that I am willing to take a stand and to take this stand to represent Trinidad and Tobago as an individual. And whoever wants to get involved and whoever wants to be there to help give back some in Trinidad and Tobago, you are very much welcome. I don't care who you are or where you're from. Once you're willing to help take a stand for, and get back to the dad in Tobago, I would be so happy and so pleased to have you a part of my team and my group to stand towards what we think is right and what we want to do to take back to the dad in Tobago. I ain't, I ain't asking for nothing else, you know. I asking for money, not asking for fame, and I'm not asking for anything physically when it comes to people saying, well, I need you all to come and do this work for me and do that work for me and go and walk in the hot sun. No, all I'm asking you all is to help me spread the right word out there as a community. Yeah, girl, I... Hmm, Indira, girl, Indira, girl, you're right. Yeah, my Indira, like, boy, we get our licks, but we are dead. We still here, right? <laughs> we still here. Now, talking about parenting, no, I'm not a parent as yet, but I did learn. I did learn what it is like and I have seen what my parents went through to bring me up, to bring my siblings up. I've seen what other parents been through, single parents, uh, parents on the whole. I've seen the struggles, the stresses, but I've also seen where they fell short in this day and age. I also saw why it is they fell short too and that is because of the fact that they are studying the money and how the money come in rather than studying how their children are being brought up the money will come the money will come john boy we can't just tell them man to stop you because they don't think that it's okay to just stop they think that it's okay to come and take from an innocent man and a hard-working man thank you check yes thanks so much I, yeah, John, well, boy, I, it's not as if I just talk, you know. It's about, it's about sending the right message. It's not just about talking. I see a lot of people go live on Facebook and things. So sometimes I will just click in to see, you know, what's up. See, to support some people and thing. See what's up. It's because they're going to tell me what they're eating, what they're drinking, what they at. I don't give a damn about that. No, puppy. If you want live, if you want to do a video, if you want to send a message on Facebook, please do it for the right reasons now. Or like get away from this this stupid um kinda oh I want everybody to see that I can eat tacos. And I want everybody to see that I, that I can go in this place and that place and the next. Okay, we get it. How about doing something good for a change and start to spread the right words around? I realized that um, that a certain, some, a certain music video was launched last night and it went boom viral. You know why it went viral? Because it was from a certain artist. I don't like to call name and thing. You know. mm -hmm. I won't call name and thing. But it was from a certain artist. And to me, the, the song indicated no good message. None. Hi Arlene, how are you? It sent a no good message. And you know what? Half a Trinidad supports that. And these things pisses me to shit off. No, it's not Nishad. <laughs> no, like I said, I'm not calling names, but I know what I'm speaking about. It was sending the wrong message and I did not like that. It showed me that Trinidad mentality is all about rum, is all about horn, is all about Womanizing is all about anything negative that you can think about spreading to the population. Some of you wouldn't like to hear it, eh? but it's the truth. You all really support royal crap. 
really 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 big crap to your support now not, nothing good nothing good comes out of um, alcoholism drug abuse and all these kind of things and yet still you people support these things and make it go viral and make people famous through it why why do you all do that do you all make sense at all doing these things do you all even sit and think how is this going to impact my my child's life how is this going to put a good message across to them uh, answer me this <laughs> john rum have nothing to do with being a bandit rum let me tell you something i see what I'll it's a nice it's a nice at all because a lot of people use these things as excuses to bring upon violence in a home. And you know who's affected by it mostly? Not just the woman or the man of the house, you know, but the children. The children are affected by these things. It's not about the bandits. Got plenty of them bandits don't drink rum when they go in and thief because they have to remain sober to do what they do, you know, you understand? So it's not about that. It's not about the bandits drinking rum. It's about the people sending the wrong messages to people out there and to their children. Mm -hmm. My whole take is not about politics, you know. My whole take is about we, what we can do as people to change things. Boy, I ain't nobody weeds, you know. And, uh, I kind of don't know about that one. <laughs> I have no idea about that one. But whatever people's choices, uh, my point is that they need to learn. They need to learn to, to stop doing the wrong things and stop supporting the wrong things and stop sending the wrong messages. That is my point. My point is, I noticed this. It have um, a song which was done by Maha Productions, amazing song done by some artists to stand against crime. When I say amazing, I mean really amazing. They literally came together as one. I can't remember, but hats off to you guys. Hats off to Maha Productions. And you know what I noticed? That video didn't even go viral like the video that released last night. And this video and the, uh, this this song was actually a song to represent standing up for the right, standing up for the crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago. And you people, you people, the same people who I see sharing this video that was released last night are the ones who ignored that video. Because I posted it on my wall. I did post it on my wall. And I only got about two shares, probably three for the most. What's wrong with all your, all your care for all your country, all your care for all your lives? Well, only when you reach all your home, then all your study, how it going to happen and when it going to happen? No, don't wait for you to hit home and then study to take a stand. Take a stand now. What's wrong with all your, come now man, we're speaking sense here and trying to put sense into you all too. I am trying to show people that yes, I... I'm not just about talking, you know. I'm also about helping people. And when I say I want to help, I am going to start working together with a lot of other artists who are willing to work together with me to take the right stand in Trinidad and Tobago. We are going to try to do voluntary work to help train children, whether it be music, whether it be in dance, uh, in any art form possible. And anybody who's willing to come forward and help us and work with us, I don't mind. I am willing to put you a part of my team to help spread this positivity. I want for each and every one of us to get the youth off the road. And because the government not going to do anything to get them off the road because they're already taking away free education from them. When it comes to healthcare children, lots of poor people cannot afford it. And I think that it's time that people like, like myself and like some of these artists and some of you out there who could help to give back something, I want for us to come together and do that. This is what I want for us to do. I want for us to be able to, to start off, to spread a, a, a great a great image to, to Trinidad and to be good that we can all unite. I don't care what race, I don't care what religion, I don't care what the color your skin is, I don't care about none of these things. Once you can help do something and make a positive impact, that's all I want. I want for you all to stand with me and I want you all to be able to work with me to make this happen, right? So if you can teach music, whether it be instruments, whether you want to do vocals, whether you want to teach, even if you want to teach dance, you want to teach sports, you want to teach academics, 
please contact me i don't mind we can work together as one and i will help to start uh finding the the resources for things to be done i i don't mind i don't mind working with anybody and now remember this this is this is all about being selfless it's about giving back to people so if you're willing to volunteer you you have the time to volunteer please message me keep in contact with me and let's let's do this right i want i want to set the right example in Trinidad and Tobago because i think that um i remember it had a saying that it takes a village to raise a child and i think we need to get back that mentality it takes a village to raise a child and i want for you all to to get back into this mentality and i want for you all to to try and start to look back up for each other and keep keep you keep you um keep your views and your your opinions going as to spread positivity throughout each and every youth and individual whether young or old we all need to learn each day in life because we don't know everything i still learn it too i'm not i'm not no i'm not no big shot i'm a normal young lady out there trying my best to to try to help people as much as i could I I'm not no lawyer, no no doctor, and no no uh, definitely not no minister, no no parliamentarian. I am nothing based on these things. I am just a normal. I'm a dancer. I do henna. I do makeup. I do all these things. I'm willing to get to get people involved in doing these things. Learn trades. Learn to do different things and get yourself get yourself independent and keep yourself on the right track. So if you all can. Do this with me and you all can help me to put uh, a really um hi Shashri, what's up <laughs> nice to see you locked on uh yes um so if you're all willing to work with me and uh help build the communities um it would be really amazing it would be uh, i would be so happy and like i say it's not about looking for money it's about actually wanting to just help it's about being able to volunteer, okay? So do link me up. Yeah, girl, I feel we should bring back cut off in tears, you know. Talking about that, I saw a video on Facebook. I posted it on my wall where they showed you that the school, I believe, was Japan or China or one of them. They have no janitors, right? And you know what they do? They make the children do the work in the school. They clean the school as a form of discipline. Like, yo, that's like one of the most amazing ideas ever. I think we need that in some of these schools because these children wasting their time fighting. Some of them doing porn. Some of them in a corner, jam up. Doing some kind of nonsense, smoking, drinking, all kind of crap. I think, I think we should, we should try that, you know. We should try that as a, um, <laughs> as a form of punishment. And you'll see how fast it will stop them from doing all that nonsense they just be doing. Because... Let's face it, they ain't gonna bring back hope or punishment in school, so you might as well look for consider it community service. <laughs> consider it community service. Let them learn to, to help and, and let them feel what it feels like for people to to be working hard to put them where they are. Mm hmm I think that's a good idea. It's not bad. Because of this high discipline level that um japan and some many of these countries have a very low crime rate so maybe we should try implementing that you never know you're not beating them you know you're just teaching them to clean teaching them to work and be disciplined yeah shivani yeah like why why should a teacher apologize to a child for correcting them i remember back in the day if you didn't do your homework or you get something wrong in school and stuff, you have to put out your hand so one again, two, three times, and with power ruler in your hand. Ouch. Ouch. So I I learned my lesson nice make sure I do my homework and turn because I'm afraid I got tail on your head the next day reach. But I'm not saying that um it's okay to hit people, children. But what I'm saying is always good to find ulterior motives. It's always good to find an next way to help discipline them. And who knows, you know, giving them a little work inside and out will teach them to be a little more understanding, a little more respectful, you know, to learn a little more value. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but we need, we need to find, we need to find different ways to discipline our kids. 
No, enough for the kids. Let me get to you adults. Mm -hmm. Some of you might not want to hear this, eh? but it's the truth. Some of you drink, you smoke, you kiss up and love up, posting up, thing, you kissing up and loving up. All kind of craziness in front of kids. In front of kids. Now tell me, when your kids see you doing these things, you're smoking in front of them, you're drinking in front of them, you're doing stuff which seems so sensual that it's supposed to remain in your bedroom kind of thing. You tell me what these kids are supposed to be doing otherwise. Do you think they're going to do what 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 it is uh they they feel to do? No, they're gonna they're gonna actually do what they see you doing. And that is that's a real harsh reality of things, you know. Some of you adults have no shame. You all have no shame at all. And yet still all you expect better from all your children. Ay chihuahua. Now I know you have a lot of kids who really smart out there and would never follow what they see but they have a lot of them who actually need a push in life to do the right thing and this is where i think that we adults need to take our responsibility you don't do things in front of kids and then expect them to do the opposite i said that in my last message and um a lot of people ignored me a lot of people you know decided well my word wasn't word enough to be respected as to uh, wanting a form of discipline throughout the country and throughout parenting and throughout uh, the child development. I am not a psychologist, I'm not a counsellor. I don't deal in these things, but I do deal with common sense. I do deal with respect and moral. And I do understand that it takes, it takes us as the adults and as the exemplars to be able to set the right example for our children out there. Now, if some of you don't want to do it, fine by me. But don't expect a stranger to do it for you. And don't expect that your kids will just know what to do without you teaching them these things. Right? You all need to, to step up a the game and, and take charge. Now, speaking about these responsibilities, I saw um, the women's um, Hindu, they, they, yeah, the women's Hindu group. Yeah, I saw the... Um, they, they stated that they want that um, the marriage be legalized um, for girl children or children under the ages of 18 by parental um, advice, right? My take on that bullshit. Why on earth do you all have this, this caveman, kuli, bakadi kind of mentality? I'm a Hindu. Plain up, straight up, everybody knows I'm a Hindu, but I do not accept what these women want to do. Why would you want to get a, ch a child? I'm talking about a child when they're in front, when they're in their mommy and daddy house, they want a comforter, they want a hug up, they want a love up, they want a, a bedtime story and all these things. Why on earth would you want to get that child married to a big hard back man? And then at the end of the day, when these kids are being abused, and they are being taken for granted and they are being treated like shit. You parents do not take the responsibility for your children. Why on earth are you all even... Why in this day and age, why, why aren't you all educated? Why don't you all understand that these are the roots of all these crimes and these uh, domestic violence cases and stuff? Kids don't know what it is like to be responsible. Heck, a big 30 year old man don't know what it's like to be responsible. So you're trying to tell me that these kids under the age of 18, under the age of 16, will be able to carry on a marriage? Many of you, you don't even know the meaning of a marriage, but you want the marriage of your blasted child? What the hell are What a child know about raising a child? This is why there are so many poor single parents out there. There are so many women being taken advantage of out there. You know why? Because our parents like that who want to stand to marry the children at the toddler age. And I will call 16, 15 years and a toddler. You don't do those things. These children need an education. These children need to be able to, to grow and learn for themselves and accept responsibility when they are ready for it. Do not force these things upon children. 
Or you could tell me that you're watching a 16-year-old or 15-year-old child with a big hard donkey man. You want to marvel of the child too. And on top of it, when these little girls out there being raped and all kind of thing, then all they want to bash people when you all literally legally putting them into being raped? What kind of nonsense is that? What kind of nonsense is that? That total utter bullshit. And I will not stand for something like that. As an Indian woman, as a Hindu woman, all they make no sense. And as a woman, on the whole, all it makes no sense whatsoever. Do not, please do not marry off a child. It is not right. Mm -mm. Hell, I have 27 years. 27 years, right? And I feel like I'm still a little child. So then I will go and I think, Mommy, I want this. Mommy, I can get a hug up. Mommy, I think, yeah, I'm 27 years and I still do that. So you can imagine, a 16-year-old child, they get no comfort whatsoever when they go to their in-law's house. Big women don't even get comfort sometimes when they go to their in-law's house. In-laws treat them like shit. You think a next woman or a next man will take responsibility for your child? You really think so? No. All you think now, man. This is when... Let me tell you something. It have a lot of people. They don't care what the children do. They don't care how wrong the child is. They will never say the child wrong. And I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been through this. Right? They will never take wrong for their kids. Do you know what they will tell you? They will tell you, you look for it. They're my child. They're my son. They're my child. I go... I don't care when nobody say I stand for my child. So why would you put your daughter, why would you put your little baby girl in that kind of life? Are you for real? Are you seriously standing for that kind of nonsense in this country? In this day and age, are you supposed to be more educated than that? Are you chop it so? Ah, Yes, I speak fluent. <laughs> are you chop it? Mm -hmm. And I don't care if I had to stand up. To these women in that group and help them in the place too. A little full of bull caca. Oh, as I say in Hindi, Govar. Yes, a little full of it. I'm not going to support that nonsense with marrying off little children. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> boy, these things really hurt me when I when I think about it. Eh? Look at Ria Sukdeo. They find this girl as yet not a trace, not a lead, no nothing on this girl. Every day you're hearing young school girls going missing. My heart bleeds because I think this could be one of our own. This could be somebody we know, somebody who we're close to. Why, why, why is this continuing? And why is it only under a certain government that these things continue? <laughs> why is it? Let tell all you, whether somebody want to hear it or not, is one on, on the UNC. You don't really hear what can happen, so. From the time being incoming government, that was it. Kidnapping went rampant. It get, it, it get so hot. I couldn't even believe that this could have happened within a year. Just imagine that. The first month being in one election, we had about Two to about two. It's about two to three kidnappings within the f with, with, within the first two to three weeks. Just imagine that. And under you and see all of these things started to ease up. People kind of feel a little safe. So why it is only under this government these things happen? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like to hear the truth, you know, but that is the truth. The truth of the matter is that the PNN government. And they and their lots of their supporters and even the members of parliament knows that PNA government cannot and will not take a stand to fight for what is right in this country because of the fact that they feel that if they take a stand and go against certain people that they they would lose that power that they, they have right now. And also what I realize too is that they, they try to put a scare to people and that is not right. You do not you do not do that. If you want to run a country, you sort to bring peace to your people. You know, so to bring fright to them. When that the council's given all your all just imagine all your hard jobs like like rain. 
Every man jack was getting work. No, no man jack have no work. So that's why I have all of these these robberies and things going on. People houses being broken into. People businesses being broken into. Because of why? Because there are a lot of lazy people out there too who just think that it's okay to run into somebody's house and just take understand? To just take it up and just go. So why it is that why it is that they do they think that this is right to just go and take an innocent man money and run away with it? You you answer me this. Why do you think this is right? It's not right at all. I'm trying to like speak on many different topics here tonight because of the fact that it's a lot of things affecting us as a community from parenting, from uh, these these activists. And when it comes to the government itself, they have a big part to play because of the fact that they are the ones who are in charge. And we as a public can't go and tell the police to do the work. It's up to the prime minister. It is up to the leaders to tell these people to do the work. We shouldn't have to be begging these people to do their work because we are paying for them to do it. And I think it's fair that we now need to put our voices out there and we need to get our voices out. So if it is that you all really serious about winning back Trinidad and Tobago, bringing back that paradise that we all know, you all will support me and you all will help me to spread the word of peace, of love, of unity as one nation. I really want you all to work with me. Like I say, I'm not doing this for no fame. I'm not doing this for for anything based on, on, on financial gains or, or any such thing. I'm just doing this because I have a heart and because I want peace back in my land, whether it be for man, woman, child. I just want a safer Trinidad and Tobago. That is all I want. That's all I'm asking for, right? I'm not asking for anything else besides peace, love, and unity, right? I want you all to take a stand. And I want you all to understand that partying and fetting and supporting your wrong things and giving away money to people who not spreading the right messages. I think we all need to take a stand and stop that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Stop it. You all are making no sense whatsoever doing that. You're giving these people millions of dollars at the end of the day to know to you know no to you know what to spread songs about rum about horn about womanizing and about every bullshit you can think about you all need to stop that you're paying taxes to do what full that full them bitches pockets over and over and over for spreading the wrong messages for yourself and for your children come on man wake up trinidad Wake up, we need these money for better things. Hospitals. We ain't had no damn good health care in this country. Just imagine that. We don't have a good health care. Second. No free education? What's wrong with all you? We need to educate people. That's the only way the community and they will going to be able to, to, to literally build and to escalate and to be a lot more wise and Productive. Oh, Jesus Christ, I am so pissed off to know that you people spend your money behind so much nonsense. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we need to love each other, but let me tell you, dude, some people don't even know to love themselves, much less love each other. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, some people don't know how to do that. The only way things are going to be able to go the right way is if we make it go the right way. Ali, stop supporting the wrong things now, man. Stop it. The day that I see that these same people who could sing about all these negative things, the day that I see that they could take a right stand and fight for something other than money, then I will be pleased to say that they are true, true people of Trinidad and Tobago. Because if I could do this and take my time off at the end, at the end of the day to just come and spread a word, a piece of a little word of advice, a little word of love, then many of us could very well do that. Because if some some of them go on, some of these people go on on Facebook, and you know, first thing they go talk about, oh, I was sick, I was sick, and I was, you know, I was trying so hard to do things. You come on Facebook, they tell me you were sick. What the f? What the actual f? You go on Facebook and tell me that. 
Why don't you come on Facebook and tell me? You know what, Trina Tobago? Let us pray together. Let us try and unite. Let us live as one and let us do something positive to bring back Trinidad and Tobago. Let us create a world and an image of so much love and so much appreciation and so much gratitude. Why it is we can't do that? But you look at my face, but people are real sick. Some of the artists really sickening. Real sickening. Real sickening. I, I don't care who vex. Stand up for the right thing. <laughs> so, I... Whether many of you want to support me or not, I'm still taking a stand. Because you know why? The truth is the truth. And you can't change the truth no matter how much you bend it and twist it. The truth would always be the truth. Alright? And I will take a stand for the truth. Because this is who I am. This is what I'm about. I'm about bringing back Trinidad and Tobago. I'm about making sure that the people know that it have people willing to take a stand for Trinidad and Tobago. I'm just one person, but I'm telling you, one person could make a huge difference and a huge impact. I'm human. I have a heart. And it's not nice seeing people and other humans being hurt out there. It's really not nice. And if some of you really that to be going to love the people who support you all, then you bitches better start to show it and start to give back something. I beg you know, Leah, do it. Again, Ralvex, because of the fact that every day I see people, and you know what? Do you know what's going to be more Vex too? You, the public, just run to these same people who dare not give back anything to all you. All just run to them and show them that all these little puppy dogs. Ruff, ruff. Every time they call upon you or to represent them for bullshit. Stop it. Stop it, Trinidad and Tobago. Stop it. You all need to do the right thing. The Ekumar is true. They're studying everything that could benefit them. Once the bank account full, to ask for Trinidad and Tobago. Because you know why the people of Trinidad and Tobago are stupid. Because no matter how much we, we talk about these people and how much we try to put a message across that they're not doing the right thing, a lot of you run back to them and support them for the same bullshit that others say that they're not supposed to be doing. The truth is hurt to know. The truth is hurt. And I am not going to support anybody who choose to be greedy. Greed is what have this nation and this world as it is. That is why it has so many killings and so many crime going on. It's because of greed. Greed lack of discipline, lack of moral, lack of value, lack of integrity. A lot of you lacking plenty of these things. All you want to call all yourself artists and role models. I got lash all your hard and I got lash all your real hard. Because it is be doing you wrong things and all that. Yet still, all you expect people to look up at all you. Some of you don't even do charity work out here. Just imagine that if somebody call all you, a poor man call you, boy, partner, how much you can charge me to do a, a gig, boy? And you have so and so amount of money, you know. But boy, I just only charge 20,000, 26,000 to play, you know. And well, if you can't pay that, well, I can book you, you know. Why? Why it is all you just do a poor man that? Why it is all the artists have to be charging 20, 36,000 dollars, all this kind of nonsense to play? A little wedding for three hours, and you know what? Half all they don't even be singing. Half all they don't be even be singing. All they be sequencing all the damn music. And all they call that doing a favor to the people. The people doing a favor for all you. They doing a favor for all you. All they doing not want shit for them. And you know what's the sad thing? It's sad, but I applaud people. You all still support these bitches. Yeah, Kumar, humanity. <sighs> yeah, it's true. A lot of them just go on Facebook Live to um to record whether they go in and do a, a, a new video, or whether they want to go and um sing a new song, or whether they lo they doing something which makes no sense whatsoever and serves no purpose at all. Very rare I would see somebody actually putting up a video, putting up a means of um, 
or putting up anything at all in any means of helping somebody. Very rare I would see something like that. And you know what? They just get vexed when people bash them. They just get real vexed. I don't care who vex, who vex, loss. Mm. Yep. Plain talk bad manners with me. Who vex, loss? People need to stop. Stop wasting all their time and energy behind the wrong things. Stop wasting all their time and energy. And I want for all you artists, yes, I'm starting. I'm starting this video along with an amazing team with Maha and Jaish and all of them. I'm starting this video. It will be coming out very soon. Look out for it. I have a lot of artists who actually have a little bit of consideration and a heart willing to work with me to do these videos. And I am so, you know what? God bless these artists who will stand up with me. But it's the ones who don't want to stand with me, I will bash all you as long as I could because all you do, I don't all you greedy. All you girl greedy. And, and the reason why I'm bashing you all is because you all choose to always focus on how you much money you're gaining from the people and you all choose not to give back. You all need to step up all your game and start to, to show that you all are part of Trinidad and Tobago and help people. Start helping people. Help do each and everything. And do it because of the fact that you want to do it. Don't do it because you expect something in return, please. Because me trying to give people advice and me speaking the truth, I'm not gaining anything from it. All I'm gaining from it is true blessings from each and every one of you and from the Almighty above who I believe in and who I pray to each and every day to give me this blessings to be able to sit or stand in front of this camera at the end of the day to spread the right words and to spread the right message. So come on people, all you wake up. Come on Trinidad and Tobago, take responsibility for the children, for yourself and for your community. I want you all to keep this, keep this in mind. It takes a village to raise a child. Come on, let us bring back these, these values that we have lost. Let us bring it back. Let us all stand together and let us bring forth what we know as discipline back to our children and back to our people, right? I'm not looking for nothing, for no nothing. I am not gaining anything financially once again. I'm not gaining anything publicly. All I want is for the right thing and the right message to be sent across to each. And this is all I'm doing because it have a lot of people who can only talk and who can only dress up and try to look good to go live or try to dress up to take a picture. Hey, I'm a big celebrity, you know, look what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Mac. Whatever, whatever, I don't even wear Mac lipsticks. I don't know the name of these lipsticks and they eh? all excuse me. Shh. Right? But yeah, all they had to show off all the lipstick all they wearing, what dress all they wearing and what color it was and which and who was the designer. That's all all they know to do. Please, be really come better than that with me. So start to take a right, for the, take, take a stand for the right thing, all right? Yeah, come on, bye. Hmm. That's one of the one of the greatest, greatest phrases by, by Mahatma Gandhi, boy. But anyhow, I want you all, oh, you all, bef before I end this video, you all check out John from Queen's YouTube channels and yes, he does highlight a lot of us from the Caribbean and a lot of artists from the Caribbean. So big up to you, John. Big up to each and every one of you who locked on here tonight. I love you guys so much. I I, I um I know I spent a lot of time with you all. So thank you all for listening and thank you all for supporting me. Love you guys. Bye.